hope you're all doing fine guys. Um, of course I'm your girl Eunice and today I'm going to give myself a challenge on this video guys. But before I do the challenge guys, is it your first time on the channel? Is it your first video you're watching on my channel guys? Make sure you subscribe before you leave the channel guys because you're definitely going to have a good time with me here guys. So straight to the chase is uh, our currency first of all. This is 3,400 shillings which equates to one dollar and I'm going to give myself a one dollar challenge guys. So I'm going to do a, um, a shopping, practically only fruits and I'm only supposed to shop within the range of one dollar. Not less than one dollar or even not more than one dollar but exactly one dollar guys. So we are going to go into the market right here, I'm in the front of a, a, a market. And right now we are going to enter in and try to check out what fruits we can get on this one dollar which is 3,400 Uganda shillings in my currency. So let's go to the market. of bananas that we use. The one I'm buying are sweet bananas. That's the difference. So let's go look for more fruits. Now the market is arranged in a way that fruits and vegetables are on one side, cereals the other side, and then maybe other fruits like cassava, potatoes are also on the other side. So this is a section for fruits and vegetables. So straight, let's head out. So guys, this right here is tamarind. This is how it is sold. We remove the cover because there are some insects that um, intrude, like um, infest in them if you sell with the covers. So we remove the covers and sell them like this. And this pack like this is 1,000 Ugandan shillings. Oh, what's very good. Now these are oranges. They're also 1,000. A heap which has about five pieces. No, five pieces is also 1,000. So apparently we are left with 400 shillings. So these are oranges, 1,000 shillings. Which means so far we have spent oh, what? 3,000. 1,000 on banana, 1,000 on tamarind, and then 1,000 on oranges. So apparently we're left with 400 shoes. And this is just a bonus. This was supposed to be 500 Ugandan shillings, and I'm less by 100 Ugandan shillings. But she has just done me a favor and given me at 400 shillings. So we just exhausted our one dollar guys, which is three thousand four hundred Ugandan shillings, guys. This is our food shopping. We don't have a variety in this season because um, I think it's just not a harvesting season of fruits. That is why the, the stalls are a bit dry. But when you come here and it's a season, you get you can get a variety of fruits like watermelon. You can get a variety like watermelon or pineapple and just a variety. Of so guys, this 
market is a bit bigger compared to the one I did a shopping at last time if you can watch if you really watch that video. Meanwhile, if you did not please make it a point, go back and watch that video where I did my first shopping. And yes, as you can see, right behind me are tomato stalls. Yeah, so that whole section is actually for tomatoes up to the extreme end the other side. And now we are going to get out from this same entrance that we use. It has two entrances. One is like exit and then one is like entrance. But we're going to use the same one. $1 challenge and we did shopping on particularly fruits only we did not buy anything else apart from fruits so like I told you we bought some lemon some tamarind and some bananas as well guys of course with some oranges at the same time so guys that is practically what one dollar can get for us when you're doing a shopping on fruits guys thanks a lot for watching my video of course you should continue watching more and ensure that you subscribe if you are not subscribed guys otherwise I'm out